Hello there, fellow travelers. Uh, this is a Walter's World fan video by me. You know, um, we're in the beautiful city of Stralsund, Germany. Um, and as you see uh, behind me, the city hall and the Nikolai church. So uh, I, I watch uh, the videos of Walter's World on YouTube and I like his videos very much. I uh, try to do my own version of his videos, uh, you know, travel videos. He usually makes um, a video about five things that he likes and hates when he's abroad. And I'm doing the same thing. So here's five things you might hate and love about uh, Germany, okay? I've been here many times, possibly 25 times. Uh, first time I was here was in 1984. Uh, back then, uh, Germany used to be two separate countries, the West and East Germany. Back in 1987, I went uh, to uh, East Germany, the German Democratic Republic. Uh, uh, that was a uh, trip sponsored, uh, subsidized by the uh, German Democratic Republic, uh, you know, the government. So uh, we were teenagers. Uh, we got this cheap trip uh, to East Germany and there were two tour guides. Uh, they were, were both convinced uh, communists and uh, they were supposed to teach us uh, teenagers uh, about communism and that it's not that bad. You know, so we saw uh, East Germany back then it was complete, completely different uh, compared to today. Uh, you know, it was pretty much like North North Korea, you know, today it was a, a communist uh, regime a uh, run by a dictator, Eric Honecker. So now I'm back here in East Germany and many things have changed. As you know, there is no wall uh, left. They tore down the wall. And uh, let's get to the point. Uh, five things that you might uh, hate about Germany. First thing uh, that comes to mind is traffic. You know, traffic is, there are a lot of cars here in Germany, so congestions on the roads uh, are common, you know, uh, traffic jams. So, and uh, Germans tend to drive quite aggressively and fast. So you know, then you have the uh, no speed limits on the motorways, on some of them. That might be a good thing or a bad thing, but. Um, you have to watch out and drive carefully because it tends to be a racetrack here and there. Uh, I mean, the roads. So, um, driving can be difficult. Also, parking could be an issue. You know, uh, finding a, a parking spot where to park. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, where was I? Uh, talking about uh, parking and that um, it's very difficult to find a place to park your car. Uh, most parking lots have barriers, so you have to get the ticket. Uh, so the barrier will open, and then, then you will park your car there. Um, and also, this is pretty much everywhere, even at the supermarket. If you go to the supermarket park uh, for shopping, you have to um, get the ticket, and then you have to show the ticket to the uh, cashier. And um, then you will have free parking. Uh, for maybe an hour and if you uh, stay more than an hour uh, they will clamp your car and tow it away so parking is not easy here because there are a lot of cars everywhere so that was the first thing traffic and driving in Germany can be uh, difficult it's hard second thing that I don't like about Germany is uh, slow internet we went to McDonald's a couple of days ago and they offered uh, free Wi-Fi and uh, man it was very slow it was like surfing in the early 90s I, I tried to upload four photos and that was it for it took me about 45 minutes to upload four photos and uh, internet is really really slow uh, not what I'm used to third thing you're not gonna like uh, about Germany is probably the German mood Germans are quite serious 
Um, when you know it's not, they can be they can be rude if you go to the tourist information. I went to the tourist uh, office in Rostock, and um, you know the staff they were not that friendly. They were helpful, but uh, not smiling, in a bad mood. So here's the ambul ambulance is coming here. I think it's the something happened. Uh, let's see. I can show you. I think that's an ambulance. And there's a, uh, a train there. A tourist train. You can go for sightseeing if you want. Uh, so, third thing. And what's the German mood? German can be rude. Germans can be rude. Uh, they're they're not smiling that much, not joking around. That's the third thing. Fourth thing you might might like. Uh, that is, you know, the weather. Today is sunny, but if you go to uh, like northern Germany, close to the Danish border, around the city of Flensburg, it's usually very windy and rainy there. So it can be cold in June. Um, that's the weather. That's what's the what's the fourth thing? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, one more thing. If you go to Germany as a tourist and stay at the um, at the hotel or something, you might have to pay, pay an extra tax, the tourist tax. So you have to add that into your travel budget, the tourist tax. But if you pay for this, uh, it's, it's called the Kurkarte, it's a tourist tax, uh, you might get a free ride on a, such a train or you have to discount for a museum for it if you go, want to go to the swimming hall or something. So it give, the, the card gives you discounts, but it's kind of extra tax for tourists. Uh, so those were the five things they can come up with now that I don't like. Some places in Germany can be seedy, you know, with drunks and pickpockets. Um, usually big cities like Hamburg, watch out for that. Um, but here is, is, it's a touristy town, Stralsund. So, a couple of things that I like about Germany is that uh, the price is quite cheap to, to shop for food here. If you go to the supermarket, uh, low prices. Um, and, uh, you know, culture, lots of, lots of things to see here. You can, here in Stralsund, you can go to the uh, Oceanium, it's a sea life exhibition. Uh, and a lot of culture, you know, history, uh, the old um, the old city hall, for instance, there's a church, the, the um, Nikolai church from the 1276, I think they, it was built. So you feel history here, nice, uh, nice buildings, and uh, pedestrian friendly. Uh, this street over here is the shopping street. It's, uh, no cars are allowed uh, on that street. And public transport, of course, it's uh, efficient. You don't have to bring your car here, although I did so, uh, because there are excellent connections with train and bus everywhere in Germany. Uh, so prices are good you know low prices a uh, great uh, public transport a lot of history weather uh, can sometimes be good uh, when you drive on the motorway you can drive as fast as you want and that could be a plus or a minus whether uh, depends on how you see see that you can test your car see how fast it will it can run how fast you can drive uh, so that's about it, what I think is good and bad about Germany. Uh, so greetings from Stralsund, Germany, northeastern Germany.